These are the five most used tools in tax resolution, okay? Um, a CSED is a collection statutory expiration date. This is the 10 year date. Um, this is the 10 year date of collections or the statute of limitations that the IRS can collect money. An offer and compromise doubt as to collectability is uh, is another tool that we use. That means, hey, IRS, I can't afford to pay you everything that I owe you. So instead of me paying you the $280,000 that I owe you, here's $2,000. <laughs> it's exactly the way it works. And you have got to qualify for it. And it takes a long time. And it's not the easiest thing in the world. But um, yeah, I, I definitely uh, think that... Um, I know uh, an OIC doubt as to the collectability is one of the most used ter uh, uh, tools. Uh, an installment agreement or a partial pay installment agreement. I guess I need to uh, put these things out there. Um, A partial pay installment agreement says, look, I have an, uh, I know that I should pay you thousand dollars a month, but I can't afford to pay you a thousand dollars a month. I can afford to pay you $150 a month. So that's a partial pay. Um, and then lastly, we've got the currently non collectible. Um, and that's, uh, of course, the last one is a bankruptcy. Um, and then bankruptcy, essentially, there's a three-year wait or hold time there. So um, you got to look at the statute of limitations uh, on the 10-year date. You've got to look, do they qualify for an offer and compromise? If they don't, can we do a PPIA? Um, I like a PPIA more than I like a currently non-collectible because what happens is the IRS says, if you're currently non-collectible, if you make X number of dollars, it kicks you out automatically. So if I sold some timber or sold some stocks or something like that, and I made $70,000 just for that one time sale, that could kick me out of the CNC or the currently non-collectible. Um, and then, of course, bankruptcy. And like I said, there's a, a three-year hold time.